Hey guys, I'm doing my first weekly vlog. It is really random, but it wouldn't be real if it wasn't, I guess. And you're gonna see me on the second shot in this. I'm in my car. I'm going to go get my eyebrows done while the kids are at school. And I say it's Tuesday, but it's really not. It was Monday morning. I don't know what I was thinking. I think it was too early. Anyway, please hit the like and subscribe button and let's start my week. Hey guys, this is how I started my week. I'm in bed. It's actually Mother's Day, but I'm celebrating it with my kids tomorrow because I, um, when I made the appointment for my second vaccine, they just kind of gave me a date and I wasn't thinking about whether it was Mother's Day or not. So I got it yesterday and I just kind of took a day off from doing anything because I didn't know if I was gonna get any side effects or anything and I haven't so far. I just have a sore arm. So I'm just gonna be laying in bed, editing photos all day, chilling with baby Yoda and yeah, that, that's my day. I did end up going to the Psychic Eye for some supplies, found this amazing book, and I took Rascal on a little walk around the neighborhood. Good morning, it's Tuesday morning. I'm on my way to get my eyebrows microbladed. I'm so excited because last year before the pandemic, um, the artist I go to, she does it in like two phases. So I went and did phase one and then everything shut down so I couldn't do phase two. And then a year went by. So by the time I was able to go back when everything had opened up, that would have been time for like my yearly refresher anyway. So starting from scratch. So January of this year, I went back and got like phase one of the microblading, um, which is basically, which is basically she just does it under what's existing so um, your brows stand out a little bit more but now I wanna get like more built up so I brought my brow pencil so I could show her where I want it and I'm really excited. She is all the way down in Orange County so I've got a little bit of drive ahead of me but I'm excited to get this done finally. We have arrived in Laguna. I'm so excited, finally gonna get these brows done. I will see you when I'm done. So here I am laying down with the numbing cream on, waiting to get all numbed up. My eyes are so red, I do not know why. Have I scared you away from microblading yet? This is the pigment that is sitting in after they made the little cuts. I'm done with my brows, very excited. Um, it's funny, when you get them, they use painkillers so you can't feel anything, but you hear this weird scraping noise, like kind of a sandpapery noise while they're doing it, so it almost like makes you flinch. But uh, my artist says that that's because when she hits that layer where she knows it's gonna heal right, it makes that noise and that's a sound you're doing it right. And also like the nerves it hits, even though you don't feel it so much because of the painkiller, it like makes me wanna sneeze. So I'm all stuffy now. But anyway, I'm so thrilled to finally have my eyebrows done. And um, it's like 12.30 right now. And I'm all the way in Laguna Beach. So I need to drive up to Malibu so I can be there when my kids are ready to get out of school. So I'm gonna find a Starbucks or a grocery store for some healthy food and I will see you then. What did I get from Starbucks? I got an iced Americano and I got a little protein pack with the eggs. What else did I get? I got a Kind Bar, I love Kind Bars. And I got these chocolate covered almonds just in case, just in case. You can kind of see from here that that's the PCH and I'll be driving along the ocean the whole time. So it's very pretty. Came okay, stuck in traffic, not moving. The 10 was closed off before it got to the PCH. So I had to detour through Santa Monica. And now I hear helicopters and you can see it's like hovering right over where I am. And I wonder what is going on. Mommy. Yes, baby. Oh, you make another flower pot with you but right now. I'm so excited for these flower pots you made me. Finally celebrating Mother's Day with the kids. I'm so happy. We're having dinner. I had fish tacos and the kids had chicken fingers with all the sauces and all the guacamole. Okay, the kids are in bed and I'm so tired. <sighs> Where's my tea? I was drinking my dandelion root tea. Just bought some Dogecoin. And I am going to finish editing those photos that I didn't finish yesterday. And then I'm going straight to bed because I'm tired. So it's Tuesday at around noon and today the kids are at school right now. So in a couple hours, I'll have to be ready to go spend the afternoon with them. But today was my only like free day on my calendar this week. So it's gonna be the day of like getting all my extra stuff done, but I was upgrading my security system at my house today. So I was here with the technician all morning and that took a little longer than expected. So 
Now I just don't have a lot of time, so I have to figure out like what the most important priorities are. Like what am I actually gonna get done this week? Cause today is the only day to do it. Also, I feel so bloated right now and all I had this morning was a glass of lemon water and my usual um, protein smoothie. I don't know if I put too much fiber in it or what, but I feel ugh. So what have I been doing on my free day? I've been still editing photos. I don't know why it's taking me so long. Usually when I edit a group of photos from my fan page, I can do it in a day. But this time I have way more content than usual for this month, that's part of it. But also when I was downloading, selecting the photos I wanted and downloading them, it was taking them like a couple minutes each to download. I don't know why it never does that, but it's just one of those things. I think we might be in a retrograde pre-shadow period, which is always when the retrogrades hit me. So I'm still in the midst of editing those photos and hopefully by the end of the week, I'll be done. I'm having a morning snack of a heavy metal detox smoothie. This is the medical medium heavy metal detox smoothie. It's good, it's fruity, and it has like all these natural ingredients that'll help take toxic heavy metal buildup out of your body. Typically, I'm a really big list maker, but sometimes I'll have one of these days where I'm like, okay, I have a day, I can get stuff done, but I don't have a list ready. So I'm just kind of like walking around like a zombie, swearing there's things I really need to do. And I can't remember which ones are the most important. So I'm ready to go see my kids. I packed up a bag of my favorite salad, my favorite chicken salad from California Chicken Cafe and a couple Avion water bottles. And I'll see you guys after. I didn't want to film while I was with my kids because I like being present, but here's our dinner. It is Tuesday night. Um, the kids are asleep, but one of them, they're supposed to fall asleep by eight, ideally, and one of them didn't fall asleep till 10. So um, yeah, they're asleep now. And it's late Tuesday night, so I'm listening to Call Her Daddy, of course. And um, it's also a new moon. It's a new moon in Taurus. And I'm making a mini um, vision board, which I haven't made a vision board in years, but for some reason, that's just what I'm feeling called to do on this new moon. Um, I'm putting representations of my four main goals for the next six months on this vision board. And maybe in six months, I'll update you on how good a job I did manifesting those and making those come true. So that's what I'm gonna do. Probably gonna like read for a little bit and then go to bed and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Hello, it is Wednesday afternoon. I can't believe the week is half over. I spent all morning just on virtual meetings and phone calls, making smoothies. This is another metal detox smoothie. I still have not organized my closet. I'm still showcasing my chuggy hat behind me. And yeah, today I'm going to go to the cemetery with a friend and relax and take some photos and stuff. So come along, I will see you there. Here we are at the cemetery. It is very beautiful and very peaceful. Really nice day out. And what is that fake looking tree? I've never noticed that before. I wonder if it's a headstone or what it is. Let's go check it out. It is, it's a headstone. Very cute, very original. I love creative grave markers. There's some really cool duck-like creatures, <laughs> left some flowers for Mama Irene, my kid's grandma. Um, I didn't leave those sunglasses, but I love that people leave sunglasses for her because she loved to wear sunglasses. And here is Toto's grave. He's actually not buried here. He's buried somewhere under the 101 freeway, but it's a nice little memorial to Toto from the Wizard of Oz. And then later that night, I went to dinner at Yamashiro with Bridget. I had this sushi pizza, which was absolutely delicious. And I had to get this rice in the pineapple because it's super cute. Hey guys, it is Thursday morning. Still have not organized my closet, as you can see behind me. And Let's talk, as I just breathed in like the heat protector spray, gross. Let's talk about vaccine side effects because I had my second Pfizer vaccine on Saturday, so almost a week ago. And luckily I did not feel sick at all. I had a vitamin IV right before I went in. I took Tylenol and drank a ton of water that day and I did not feel sick. And I did not feel sick at all the next day, which is great. But I've been noticing some other things. I don't know if it's side effects from the vaccine or if it's just coincidental, but like my voice is really raspy. 
I don't know if that's a side effect. I don't know if that's because my allergies in Vegas were really bad last week and maybe my throat is just still irritated from that. I don't know. But there's that and there's also like digestive issues, like super bloated, just feeling really unusually full after I have something simple like my regular protein smoothie. And then the other thing is I've just been feeling kind of spacey and unmotivated. Like I'm able to focus on things like editing my photos, which I finally finished this morning, by the way, thank God, and reading. I've been doing a lot of reading before bed. But when it comes to just my day to day, and for some reason this week, I just haven't had like to do lists ready. I usually like to get a list ready the night before of what I'm going to do the next day. And I haven't been doing that. But yeah, this week I've just been kind of like feeling spacey and kind of aimless and having a hard time keeping myself off track. And I've heard from other people that they have felt very lethargic because of the vaccine. So I don't know if that's a side effect or what, but I'm curling my hair because I'm going out to dinner tonight and I'm going to go do a little bit of sightseeing. So I will show you guys two of my favorite little spots in LA. I completely forgot to take any video during our first stop, but this stop is the witch's house and you can see how really amazing the landscaping is. It looks very witchy. There's a moat and a little bridge. The sign says, don't pick the berries, love the witch. Well, don't say love, but you know. This is my dinner and it's delicious. It doesn't really look that good, but it is. It's zucchini noodles and shrimp. Hello, I'm coming to you from my turquoise blue bathroom and um, just had dinner and I haven't worked out all week since I got vaccinated, which kind of bothers me, but I just haven't felt like it. So I think I'm gonna let the whole week go by, two more days and get back to working out. I might do like five minutes of Pilates outs or something just token tonight so I can feel like I got that in and probably just like read a book and go to bed. I'll see you tomorrow, Friday. Hey guys, it's Friday morning. I just woke up, haven't just washed my face, haven't put anything on yet. Oh, my manifesting skills have just become so powerful. Should I do a video on manifesting? So sorry if this grosses some of you out, but I was looking at, I have this app on my phone that like tracks my period and I saw that it was supposed to come next week when I'm in Vegas. And I'm like, why? Why is it always when I'm in Vegas? No. Like, why can't my period just come early? So, so guess what happened? It came a full five days early. So my manifestation skills are really on point. So, you know, I'll keep you updated with what else I manifest. I'm on my way to see the kids because school is almost out. I picked up my salad for dinner and yeah, I got my coffee, I'm good. So, let's go see the kids. We're at the park, just playing around, having fun, enjoying the outdoors. Beautiful day. Now we're eating dinner, and then it's gonna be bath time, and then bedtime. So I just finished downloading a bunch of podcasts because I'm in my car that does not have the TV screens in the back seat, and I'm gonna drive the kids all the way to Pasadena to go to the pirate jewelry store and I know they're gonna want the TVs and I don't have them so I downloaded the facts about animals podcast a whole bunch of episodes so they'll just have to listen to that and look out the window I always tell them like I did not have TVs in my car when I was a kid so you'll live this is kids jewelry heist in South Pasadena it's behind an adjacent toy store and kids get to make their own jewelry it's kind of piratey kind of old-fashioned you can see this treasure down here the kids love it we are eating some Saturday night veggie burgers for dinner. Okay, I can't believe it's Sunday already. It's a full day with the kids. This is one of our major activities we did today. I had them make little tumblers. They paint the inserts and now I have custom tumblers, which I love. So that was my week. It was really random, but that's just what my week is. And um, let me know in the comment section what kind of video you'd like to see next. Bye.